I am so tired. The only reason I'm able to make this video is because of this thing right here. Please sponsor me. Oh yeah, that's, that's the stuff. Hey guys, what's up? So it's Christian here, back at you for some good talk with a brand new video. Today we're in my family room, just cause uh, I don't wanna film in my bedroom. I wanted to switch things up a little bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I upload daily sneaker content and vlogs. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. I don't just do sneakers only. I know the title of the channel, Sneaker Talk, can be misleading. Today we're taking a look at a new Adidas model. Well, it's not really new. No surprise, as you guys can tell by the title of this video. Today we're taking a look at the Alpha Bounce in the Oxford Tan colorway. Now, I have reviewed the original Alpha Bounce on this channel in the past. Adidas sent me those, very happy with those. Thank you, Adidas. I actually ended up giving those to my buddy Ian as a birthday present. Now, the sneaker on its own is honestly a really really good sneaker. It's not a sneaker that you can easily compare to the Yeezys, which is nice because there are a lot of Adidas models coming out these days that do have that Yeezy influence. And I'm sorry to all of you guys out there who hate it whenever I talk about Yeezys, but honestly, Yeezys are such a predominant model, such a big centerpiece when it comes to talking about sneakers that it's hard to not talk about them, especially when you're talking about Adidas sneakers. These sneakers don't really take much uh, influence from the Yeezy Boost. So if you want to step aside from like the tubular radials or the tubular shadows or even the Yeezys, then the Adidas Alpha Bounce is definitely a good alternative that Adidas has to offer. So the box for the Adidas Alpha Bounce this time around is a black box that has Adidas in white on the very top. And on the bottom of the box, it says only the best for the athlete. The retail price for these in Canada is 160 Canadian dollars. At $160, I definitely see good value for this sneaker. Awesome thing about this sneaker is that you can also get them on sale. There's a lot of places where you can apply like a 10 to 20% off promo code. So you can definitely save some money on these as well. And these sneakers are widely available at a ton of different sneaker retailers out there. It features a completely like Oxford tan mesh upper here. It's really, really breathable. It's super duper soft. It's not like prime knit. It's a different kind of upper. It has some cool little like ridges here as well with like a texture that you can feel. So if you wanna get the extra pleasure going on, you definitely can. I make that joke way too much on this channel. I have to stop. The laces are really cool. One thing I like about the laces is that they are rope laces and they actually have touches of like a 3M reflective accent on it. And even on the tongue as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is reflective or not, but we'll figure it out soon enough. And then on the ankle collar right here, it is really, really soft. The total opposite of the Adidas EQT model advanced that I tried earlier. Uh, so yeah, really easy sneaker to slip on. You can just throw your fingers in here and push your feet in and you can run out of the house. I also just really like the comfort overall here. Uh, it hugs your ankle in a very comfortable way. There's even some extra added cushioning on the inside here as you guys can see this little pod and it's on both sides of the uh, the collar. On the very back of the sneaker you have the Adidas logo right here. Then you have Alpha Bounce down below in a smaller font and you have this like plastic TPU heel cup which is very common in a lot of Adidas running models as even seen on the Adidas Ultra Boost. You also have a pull tab in the very back here and this looks like a 3M sort of reflective material so I'll show you guys some pictures of that too. Taking a look at the midsole and outsole of the sneaker here, it also features like an Oxford tan color. However, this is a shade lighter. It's not as dark as the mesh upper on the top and on the bottom is where it looks really, really weird. It has this sort of like alien like texture, I guess, grip. Now the sneaker looks really cool aesthetically, but it is also very functional as well. It's a very comfortable sneaker. For example, if I would rate an Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged a 10 out of 10 for me, this sneaker is a solid eight and a half out of 10. It is incredibly, incredibly comfortable uh, and it doesn't even use boost technology, which is something that Adidas is always pushing on their newer models. So it's cool to see they have some non boost alternatives on the market as well. Uh, the insole of the sneaker is super duper smooth. The mesh lining they use on the inside or like the liner they use on the inside of the sneaker is very soft as well. So it's going to be very comfortable no matter how long you wear these sneakers. You can wear these all day long and not have your feet hurt, which is fantastic. 
Now as far as sizing goes, I would recommend going half a size down. If you're usually nine and a half in Adidas, then you can go with your regular Adidas sizing. However, for example, I am a size 10 in Air Jordan ones, so I go with a nine and a half in most Adidas models. In conclusion, I have to say the Adidas Alpha Bounce is an awesome sneaker. I would definitely recommend it to you if you are looking for a new pair of sneakers to wear on the regular. And honestly, there is a ton of colorways for this sneaker available, so I'm sure there might be something that catches your eye. In the comments down below, definitely let me know if you own these sneakers yourself or if you've tried them on in store. That's going to be it for today's sneaker review of the Adidas Alpha Bounce. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you'd like to check out another one of my videos, please feel free to do so. I'll link the original Adidas Alpha Bounce review I did a few months ago in the description down below. So feel free to check that out as well. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and hopefully I'll catch you in another video. Peace out.